I'm Scott. Come on in. I'm good. Hi. They're, Dogs, are they, they friendly? They are extremely friendly. Uh -huh. Thanks for coming over. Yes, yeah, And sure. basically, I, I'm looking for some ideas on, you know, things to spruce the house up a little bit. OK. My girlfriend is coming home in uh, a couple days. So yeah, I'm under the gun yeah, a little you, bit. You're in a big rush, huh? I do consider myself successful. I'm a risk taker, entrepreneur, and uh, if I decide I'm going to do something, I make it work. But my dating life for the last 10 years prior to meeting Lindsay was always a short-term, uh, as-needed basis. I'm not interested in getting involved with someone who's going to be a train wreck for the next 25 years. So Lindsay has provided me with pictures from magazines of things that caught her eye for oh, each room. Oh, great. Have you thought about a budget for all of this? I'm open at this point. Anywhere between a dollar and a million. So how's that? Ah. I came across Lindsay's profile on the internet. And I don't think it's really anything different than maybe Match.com or something, but they just happened to be in Freak of Prison. Decided to write her, got a response back, and our relationship took off from there. I moved from upstate New York to okay. come to Mississippi. This is where Lindsay is from. Okay. So I came here to be with Lindsay, start a new life. What does she do? Um, so uh, Lindsay is, um, Lindsay is being released from prison. Oh. Yes. Okay. And she is being released in two days. I've never met Lindsay in person, but I am very much in love with her. And I see marriage at this point, but no one in my family knows about my relationship with Lindsay. Scott is my boyfriend. We met through a prisoner dating website almost two years ago. Scott had wrote me with pictures. He seemed really sincere, and we immediately clicked. I felt like Scott was different. You know, he, uh, a lot of guys want to get on and be, you know, want sex letters right off the bat and all of that. For the first time, I was like, wow, this person could be somebody that I connect with on a deeper level than a pen pal. And he has been my support system, my financial support system. I would say Scott has sent me somewhere around fifteen to $20,000 in the last few years. But he also takes care of, like, my daughter and takes, helps take care of my mom if she needs anything. He has, like, really kept me going through my entire incarceration. My ex, while Lindsay is in jail. Uh, sure. She got caught selling drugs. Oh, it's free now. <laughs> yeah. You can buy it. <laughs> uh, no, it was crystal meth. Okay. So. Makes a mistake. That's what I said, yeah. What is yeah. this? Oh, that's gorgeous. Lindsay is a, a single mother who struggled with being able to pay her bills. She was basically speeding. She had a substantial amount of crystal meth in the car. She was attempting to outrun the police and was up to... 140 miles an hour, but I'm pretty confident Lindsay will follow the rules that she needs to follow to stay out of prison. It's a high energy color. Ah, uh, reds and yellows and greens. All right, so I think I want those colors for the bedroom. Oh, you're going to be able to handle her? How old is she? Well, she's actually um, 27. Ah! <laughs> so how old are you? I'm 51. And then she's been incarcerated, too. Boy, you got your work cut off. You have to keep bag on both sides of the bed. I am not going to be nervous with having sex with Lindsay. I think Lindsay's incredibly sexy. All you 50-year-old guys out there, you can be jealous as you want. <laughs> so what, what's your ballpark and what you think it's going to cost? Well, I want to say you about right at maybe 50000 OK. She's so young. I think that he could be a sugar daddy, but who knows? I am in love with Scott. I hope we're going to be together forever. Like, marriage, big diamond ring, big house, happy family. Coronavirus has really affected us in here a lot, too. The staff is walking around with a face mask. Um, they came in this morning and took everybody's temperatures. We are locked in our units under quarantine. We're allowed uh, like two hours of break a day. We go as units. We go separated from lunch. We don't see the other units at all. It's become a really toxic situation. People are angry. People are fighting over TVs. People are, you know, fussing with their friends. Like, everybody's just really unhappy. It's like a dark cloud is surrounding everything. 
in this unit with people who need to be out of here because if the corona gets in here to some of these elderly people like it's a death sentence so it's really i mean i know it's affecting everyone but i feel like the prison system is really feeling it pretty hard right now